Okay, we are continuing in our discussion about growth, and one of the first things to note is that we grow in cycles, and this text is designed to assess those cycles of growth um, along with the cycle of life, and just looking at where an individual is so that an, a proper assessment of their growth patterns can be seen and traced. Um, and then as you grow, you're going to learn new things and people might make mistakes and you may have to learn to become more forgiving of the mistakes and oversights that people make. And whether this is you growing or you looking at an individual and their growth uh, cycle, their growth spurts in the area of music and arts ministry, growth is eminent and we should be looking at ways to foster growth. Now, throughout time, as a person grows, there's correction that's needed in order for us to not make any mistakes. For example, when you were a child, your parent probably mentioned something like, it's time for you to brush your teeth. Make sure you wash your hands at, before you come to the table. Take off your shoes in the house. After a while, you, as a child, you, be, you begin to have great habits about what to do. And so as you grow, correction becomes less and less. Those people that are used to receiving correction may have a little bit of issue with this. And perhaps that will spawn off into a discussion about identity, which we'll talk about a little bit later. When an individual isn't sure who they are as an, within their identity, they rely on correction to determine, um, you know, how, how well are they doing. And so as, and you see this a lot in the area of music and arts where performance is a really big issue. And so when an individual finishes their performance or finishes whatever they're doing on stage, they're very quick to rely on the correction or the, the comments of others or that are or others that are looking on. So it's just important to, have a sense of who you are in the growth process, understand the cycle, understand levels of maturity. People that are new to something in the music and arts in ministry uh, area would probably be reliant on those corrections, more so than someone has, that has been doing this particular thing for over three, four, five, ten years. Okay? Um, then understand that, understand that growth can become a very lonely process. And this is because you know, the person that may be correcting or administrating may not be able to sit down and deal with you and talk with you at a particular time because that person could be working on other things. And, you know, what you did was useful for the time that it was useful for, and then you just move on. So this is something that occurs with people as they reach a higher level of growth and maturity. Uh, their confidence because, should become a little bit more refined. And as a result, they're less reliant on the correction, the corrective actions. Okay, with that, we're going to move on to our next assignment. And the assignment for this week is to uh, look at some of the things that would cause an individual not to advance or mature in their life or their ministries or their career. So that's the first assignment. Go ahead and look at some of the things that would cause an individual not to advance or mature in their life and their careers. And then what ways can you professionally develop your gift um, and, may, and be very specific about how you're going to be doing that. This is, go, this, this is going to work as an action plan towards your future. Finally, what are the sacrifices needed to produce fruit and how does this compare or differ from the world or secular system? So think about the sacrifices you need to produce fruit, to be fruitful. And how does this compare or how does this defer to the world or secular system?